Yikes, I a vaster, matey <laughs> Oh, tis a fair sharp of wind as blows past the scud and sails, or else there ain't no Evo in the sea biscuit, my blighty o I'm sorry. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> I thought you were a sailor. All salty sea phrases aside, do you actually sail anywhere interesting? Oh, aye, lad, aye. We go to the sunny continent of 4X. Sun, surf, sand. Sun, surf. Prawns. Sand, sun. Um, and more surf. Lots more sun. And, uh, rather persistent jokes about sheep. For some reason. Yeah, well, let's forget about the sheep jokes for now. Oh, oh I wish I could. Oh, believe me. Good grief. Look, can I get passage aboard your ship? Oh, can't be done, my old wannabe shipmate. I'm only taking the living dead on this trip. Special civic arrangement. See you later. Discworld 2. Demo. Only the dead escape. Your goal in this demo is to get out of town, dead or alive, so to speak. Sort of a sense of foreboding here. One crystal ball, complete with test pattern. Dressmaker's pair of scissors. A wooden dummy. Hey, its arms are almost as dainty as mine. So this is the dead collector, huh? When I was a lad, I just used to collect butterflies. I suppose it's just a matter of scaling up. Bring out your dead! Luxury post-mortem transportation services, five-star service, best cadaver relocation agency in Ankh-Morpork, highly recommended service, bring out your dead! Dead, sir? Dead? Of course I'm not dead. Do I look dead? No, hard to tell sometimes these days, sir. It's just that if you're dead, then you're stuck in trade. Our post-mortem travel service offers dozens of very exciting internment locations. Have you considered it at all? All the advantages? Advantages? What advantages could there possibly be? Well, lower clothing bills, no more overheads for food, for winter fuel, lower rent. Lower rent? Well, the dead don't move around much. You might say that they don't need as big a set of digs. <laughs> That's just a little undertaker's joke, sir. I'll keep away from them if I were you. Otherwise, you'll end up a stock in trade. So, where do you transport your corpses? Oh, uh, well, it used to be all mountains, you know, scenic locations. Very cold, you see, so the customers enjoyed it for longer before all their bits fell off. But you should see the place we've just found now, sir. Beaches, hats with corks, and blondes with these huge, straining, pink, oil-smeared... Yes, 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 but how do I get there? Well, you'd have to be dead, sir. We've got the entire season's passages already booked. Look, are you telling me that I have to be dead in order to qualify for tourist travel? Well, yes, sir. But it's a very reasonable option. We let you take all the luggage you want. Why is that? It's all classed as carrion baggage, sir. <laughs> um... That was just another little undertaker's joke. It's a good thing you have a captive audience. Why not just tell me how to get to this holiday location of yours? Just a death certificate should do it, sir. It's the only way to tell these days. Got one, have you? 
So, you need a death certificate just to qualify for foreign travel. Hmm. In many ways, death's a small price to pay for getting out of this place and starting new life somewhere else. Sorry, can't stay and chat all day. Must be off. Oh, lovely. A cartload of corpses. Still, I suppose it's nice to get out for a bit of a ride in the fresh air. Don't you find something strangely soothing about an ambulatory box which can consume 50 times its own mass in food, clothing and furniture? You don't. Spare a gold piece, sir. Spare a gold piece. Look, um, about this... this... What, sir? Well, it's just... Do you feel any, um, poultryish presence in your life? No. Not that I can say I've noticed. So you wouldn't say, for instance, that you have a... um, an unusual choice in hats? Hats? I, I don't wear a hat. Or pets, perhaps? No, sir. Never keep any pets. They say an owner always ends up looking like their pet. And who'd want to go around in life looking like something silly? Oh, yes, yes, I see your point. Oh, yes. Oh, that's enough of this conversation for me. I'd say somebody around here has a pickling fetish. Ranny Weatherwax. A tough lady, this one. Best to let her get the beauty sleep she so obviously needs. Hello! Dead. Why, come in, sir. Come in and decompose yourself. I'm not dead. I was just being polite. Not even... A little bit dead? Not fading away? No nagging little cough or unexplained twinge or tiny touch of fever? Come now, surely you can make the effort? No. No, no. I suppose not. All the fun's going out of this business these days. What is it that you do, exactly? Well, I issue all the death certificates, make sure they're really dead, that sort of thing. We can't have people being buried alive, you know? I should certainly say not. Yes, they'd be held to pay at the graveyard. All the undead would be on me like a shot. Live bodies in a dead-only area. Wrongful zoning of designated areas, the lot. Very touchy lot. The undead. What have they got to be snobby about? Been there a long time, you see. They're getting very touchy with this epidemic and everything. When you've got yourself a nice grave, good view, patio and barbecue pit, well, you get a bit iffy when a lot of newcomers suddenly turn up. Only to be expected. 
How does one get to be declared dead round here? Simple, sir. Just lay down on that slab. When a cold mirror won't cloud with your body's breath and there's no detectable pulse, then we can safely declare the individual to have passed beyond. Even if they're still walking and talking? I've had to relax those criteria, sir. In the current situation, it pays to be flexible in your definitions. Well, at least they're cheap and thorough. Any time I feel myself coming over dead, I think I'll just nip in here for a lie down. Let's just stop all this now. This should fool him. Let's just leave him alone. <gasps> if it's low body temperature he wants, then it's low body temperature he'll get. All right. Um, look, I'm feeling a little bit dead. And so I thought I'd better just pop along and see you. Right. A very wise decision, if I may say so, sir. Now, we'll do a few little standard tests. Firstly, I'll check your breath, see if it clouds up this mirror. OK, now I'll check your arm for a pulse. Hmm. Looking good so far, sir. Just one last test. Your body temperature. No, wait! Perhaps we can talk about this. Yeah! Wonderful news, sir. Wonderful news. Yes? Am I dead? As a doornail, sir. Finally, a satisfied customer at last. Now then, here's a death certificate, which also entitles you to cut price headstone carving, embalming, and free drinks at the yearly mortician's ball. Mortician's ball? Doesn't sound like much fun to me. Oh, you know, sir, once the old embalming fluid starts flowing, of course it kills you at the end, but what doesn't? Eh, well, have a nice death. And please don't hesitate to call round again if there's anything I can do for you. Sir, we'll soon have you off to a post-mortem holiday. Did I tell you the one about the carrion luggage? Afraid so. Ah, well, can't win them all, or any of them, come to think of it. Discworld 2. Available soon.